Hello and welcome to another episode of Chef H A, and I am one of the monthly guests. I'm Dr. Gustavo Tolosa, the plant power pianist. And guess what? Today I'm sharing one of my favorite foods, pizza, which is hard to find in restaurants because they all have oil, of course. And um, so today I have two types for you to try. One is made with cornmeal, so it's a cornmeal dough, or it could be polenta dough. And the other one is a combination of potato and cauliflower, mostly potato. And uh, the toppings, you will be able to choose whatever toppings you like. You could even use some vegan cheese if you like. I don't really uh, enjoy that, so I just, I just put all sorts of vegetables. But the toppings are up to you, so I hope that you will enjoy this. And um, look in the description area of the video, because there you're going to find my website. I would love to have you in my mailing list. I only send emails every now and then and uh, for upcoming uh, events like I'm going to start uh, again the online book cl club that every you know a lot of you really enjoyed and uh, you can learn a little bit about my seven day program in which we do that online and we meet three times a day for breakfast lunch and dinner and uh, we really learn how to uh, make this work uh, eating whole food plant-based with simple meals with three and four ingredients making very delicious meals and um, with daily support is a detox and reset program that uh, so far everybody's loving it that's why I keep on doing it so please um, uh, look at the links my my website is plantemus.com plant p-l-a-n-t-e-m-u-s dot com and uh, you can email me from there you can ask questions so let's get started with the pizzas and here we go so we will get a 12 inch round pizza tray and parchment paper which you can cut the shape of the pan but you really could use um, a square pan or a rectangular. You will need another piece to have it ready for later on because we will, uh, it doesn't need to be round. We will need it to, um, to, to expand the dough. You'll see what we're gonna do. And so in a medium saucepan, we will have uh, two cups of water, or it could be um, vegetable broth, and we will have one cup of cornmeal. And this cooks very fast. You have to have the water already boiling. It needs to be boiling already. And it will take about 30 seconds. You can actually turn off the heat and it'll uh, continue. Uh, cooking and just add spices you know you could put a teaspoon of garlic powder and half teaspoon of dried oregano and half teaspoon of dried basil or you could put pepper you could put um, anything that you like you will need to stir it continuously until it gets thicker like you saw that's the cornmeal that I use but you can use any cornmeal okay so now we will need to transfer the dough to the center of this uh, round sheet of parchment paper and uh, actually you could have had the sheet on the counter um, and do it there um, so um, make sure you put it in the middle and um, you could like I said you could put that on a cutting board if you want um, so now use a, either a rolling pin or your hands like I'm going to use now to evenly roll and stretch the dough 
to the edges of the sheet. And also here you have the option of how thick you want the dough to be. I'm, I, like, I would like for it to be uh, kind of crisp and crunchy, so I'm going to make it a little bit thin. But work quickly because the dough will get harder as it cools. So it doesn't need to be perfect. Uh, get it as <laughs> perfect as you can. Go to the edges and then once it is done, you will roll it onto the pizza tray again and then set it aside. Um, so that's what we're going to do now. We're going to put it back on the pan. And um, the oven needs to be preheated to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, so 425. And uh, I'm just going to do the last few little touches there. And um, you will put this in the oven at 425. And uh, well, we'll just wait actually. I'm going to go ahead and uh, prepare the toppings. You could use anything, okay? So you can use onions, um, you can use, like I'm using, I'm going to use green peppers and uh, the pepper, and uh, I have a yellow, it could be red, it could be uh, uh, like this one, orange, uh, mushrooms, but they will have to be pre-cooked okay so that they can release the water and that way it will prevent the crust from getting soggy okay so i'm just going to slice it you can slice it any way you want i'm just slicing it this way the the oven is getting hot so it'll be ready in just a minute and um, while I'm slide, slicing this, I just want to invite you one more time to take a look at my um, reset and detox and reset program. I know a lot of people uh, get frustrated with um, cooking and um, how either they get bored with the food or they don't know how to use spices or and you know, they don't know how to make simple, simple meals. Um, so that's what I do for a week. So I'm putting uh, this, uh, these two peppers, uh, types of peppers here, and uh, probably a cup and a half to two cups of mushrooms. This is totally up to you, okay? Because if you have any leftover, you will be able to use this you know, on top of a baked potato or on, on anything, okay, or as a side dish. So I'm um, just going to add these mushrooms. If you don't like mushrooms, don't worry. Add any other toppings that you want. Um, and I'm going to cook this, uh, stirring it occasionally, adding a little water if needed, although I'm going to try to um, stay with the water that the vegetables release and um, until they're kind of soft and I'm, I am going to add probably a teaspoon of garlic powder you could use onion powder you could use anything that you like I'm going to use some smoked paprika uh, probably another teaspoon or half a teaspoon this is all up to you okay and I will uh, cook this at medium heat. And um, the oven is getting uh, hot, so it's getting ready. And here goes the dough to cook. It will need to cook for at least 20 minutes, okay? Although you're gonna have to check at 20 minutes. Um, I will, for my taste, it's more like 30 minutes, but make sure you check because you don't want it to get burned, of course. And um, at about 25, 20, or even 30 minutes, you will remove it. Okay, now I'm just going to add um, 
a few thin, thin slices of red onion. Okay, just I I like the the flavor of the red onion, and this is pretty much cooked. So yeah, you know, this is gonna be the toppings that I'm going to do, and um, let's see here. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna turn off the heat, and here comes the pizza. Yes, about 25 minutes have gone by. And so I'm just going to slide it there on the cutting board. And um, I'm going to turn it over, okay? I'm going to turn it over because I want to now put it back in the oven. You see, it's not as uh, brown as I want. But uh, next time when I make it, I'm going to, um, just for the sake of time, I'm just gonna go with this but next time I am definitely gonna leave it longer so I'm gonna slide it there this time it doesn't need a p uh, parchment paper anymore because it's not gonna stick to the pan and it's going to go for at least 10 minutes but you might want to le leave it there for another 15 or 20 minutes again check 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 okay now, the sauce, I think, is very important. So whether you have pre-made sauce or whether you make your own, this needs to be yummy, <laughs> okay? And, of course, oil-free. So um, here it is, okay, with the magic of TV. About 15 more minutes have gone by. And... Um, what I am going to do, I'm going to spread the sauce. And um, just make sure, especially that I cover all the edges because I don't want to have dry edges. So put as much or as little <laughs> as you want. You could put some hummus in also. Um, first and then the tomato sauce or you could not use tomato sauce and put hummus make sure the hummus is also oil free so here goes the onions and peppers and mushrooms and again i'm going to have some left over but i don't worry because i can use that for many other things and uh, here it will also be up to you whether you, how much you put how many veggies you put so but i do want to have it covered and um, if you do like vegan cheese go ahead and use it um i just um not i'm just not crazy about cheese anyway so i don't mind not having the cheese you could put some nutritional yeast also if you like to have that cheesy flavor but not use um, the vegan cheese and then I am going to add some black olives I think that's going to give it that's this is about half a cup of black olives you can use less you can use a little more or you can skip the olives or you can use green olives this is up to you you could use roasted uh, peppers those that come in um, jars Okay, you could use artichoke hearts, you could use asparagus. All right, so here it is. And um, I'm going to add now some basil leaves. Okay, just a few. And uh, I don't have to put it back in the oven. They will kind of get soft, you know, softer because of the heat. And um, it's time to cut it and to try it. I can't wait to try this because I have never made it. And I'm going to tell you that this one... I got this idea from something that is called This Healthy Kitchen, which is a website. That's where I got the idea. I changed a few little things, but it's pretty much where it comes from. Well, it's time to try the pizza. 
with the polenta crust. So let's give it a sample here. Mm -hmm. The first time I make this, and uh, it's really very good. Surprisingly good. Of course, you can vary the toppings to whatever you like. You could even use some vegan cheese if you like, or other types of toppings. Personally, I would have liked the crust a, a little crunchy, but actually it's perfect. This, I mean, it's, it's the right texture and it doesn't fall apart. Mm. Well, I'm very pleased and I hope that you will too and that you will give it a try. Now, let's go on to the next pizza, the potato, potato cauliflower, but mostly potato. Okay, so in a medium-sized pot, you're going to put some cubed potatoes and riced cauliflower. You're going to put a pound and a half of potatoes that you're going to peel and cube. And two cups of um, either rice cauliflower or just cauliflower florets. And uh, yeah, and then you're just going to have some uh, really good spaghetti or you know tomato sauce for the pizza and um, once and you're going to cook the the potatoes for about 25 minutes or until they're very very soft and uh, then you're going to uh, you know mash them you if you want to use an immersion blender or a food processor uh, that's okay. I'm just going to just use this uh, potato uh, masher here and mash them. But the only thing is that you want to mash them until they're completely, completely um, smooth. No uh, lumps at all. And, um, you know, it'll take you a little while but that's that's what you want you want to get a really creamy consistency and that's what we're doing here and so this is a mostly mostly potato crust but you do have the cauliflower that's going to give it um, a little extra you know taste and i think it helps with the creaminess and um, yeah, that's it. And then you will be able to uh, use either two small baking sheets or a large one. And now we're going to get put in here some potato starch. Um, oh, this is up to uh, at least four tablespoons. Four to six. This is up to you. No more than six. Four to six potato uh, starch uh, tablespoons. It also helps the consistency and believe it or not, it will make the dough rise. I was um, surprised how um, it just, I, it, you know, you, you think that, that it has yeast, but it doesn't. So the oven needs to be at 430 degrees Fahrenheit that's about 220 centi centigrades. And I'm just adding some uh, pepper, that's all. Uh, you could uh, add other spices to this dough if you like, but I think that the mixture of the potato and the cauliflower is really good. Um, 
So I keep mentioning this because I would love for all of you to experience my daily program where we meet three times a day in my detox and, and reset program. So please check it out. It's always there on my website, plantemus.com. And uh, it's in the description area of this video. So I hope you will join me in the next one. I do one every other month, and it's extremely, um, you know, uh, affordable and uh, very result-driven. Okay, so we're going to put the potatoes here, and um, this will take you a little time, okay? It's important that you use parchment paper and um, you will spread it. I'm, instead of using two pans, I'm using one larger one, and it will take you time to spread it evenly. And, um, and if you use salt, you could have added salt while you were mashing it, or you could add something like Benson's Table Tasty or something like that, <clears throat> and then, uh, make sure you use a wet spatula because I didn't and I wish I had done it. And um, use a wet spatula and that will help you to spread the potato mixture onto your uh, baking sheets. Okay, and how thin or how thick you want it, that's going to be up to you. But uh, you will place this in the oven for at least 20 minutes. Uh, when I do this again, I will, I will bake it for 30 minutes. And I will take out the, the baking sheet and, and check on the dough. Uh, I will be more careful with that because I want it to be more, um, uh, well, I want it to be more crunchy. Okay, that's so, uh, that that's what I wanted so I'm just gonna but you can just check every five or ten minutes after the 20 minutes and you will get a nice golden brown you will see so there it goes goes in the oven for at least 20 minutes but I I left it for almost 30 and I don't know, I think it could have gone for longer, okay? Because like I said, I wanted it to be um, crispier. But look how beautiful it is. And it has risen. And um, now I'm going to spread some tomato sauce. And here comes the part where you get to be creative and think, okay, what am I going to put? I, for this one, I wanted to use sun-dried tomatoes because I wanted to kind of um, um, use the sun-dried tomatoes if it was pepperoni. Uh, but, you know, you can use um, artichoke hearts, you can use broccoli, either green or black olives, tomatoes. I mean, it's, it's just... You have so many options. So I'm going to put some red onions that are sliced. And um, you can put more than that or less than that. You can put some, um, maybe some roasted garlic would be great. Uh, the things that you like regularly in, in your pizza, uh, the vegetables that I mean. And like I said earlier, you could use some vegan cheese. This is the sun-dried tomatoes that I let them soak in warm water while I was doing all of this so that they get a little bit softer. And, um, and I put quite, I, you know, you, this is up to you how much you want to put. I have some leftover black olives from the other pizza, that's why I'm putting them here. Um, I think green olives might be also a good addition uh, but if you're trying to stay away from extra fat don't put any olives and I'm going to put sliced tomatoes remember that the pizza 
um, uh, to, I think, has to have enough oregano because I think that that is really one of the main flavors of Italian food and pizza. So I just sprinkle a good amount. Uh, I try to cover as much as possible the whole thing with uh, dry oregano. And um, I'm going to put this in the oven and then later show you what else I'm going to add. So um, you want to uh, keep it in the oven for another oh another 15 minutes or so okay and so here it is or just you know keep checking uh, if you want it to be 20 minutes that's okay and um, i have some fresh arugula and i am going to uh, put some and uh, now it doesn't go back in the oven this is fresh arugula it could be uh, baby spinach, it could, yeah, either one of those would be good. So this one has arugula, it could have sliced mushrooms, those are a few leaves I have left over from my other pizza, those are uh, basil leaves, and uh, and the, it just stays like that, the, the heat is going to help uh, wither those leaves a little more and all you need to do now is just slide this um, you know out of that pan and on the counter and you can cut pieces and um, and start enjoying I only put half there because um, I wanted to leave the other half to maybe add something else and um, we'll see how this came out. Uh, it's pretty easy to cut and oh goodness and then it does smell very good. Uh, while it was baking there was a wonderful aroma and so now it's time to try it. So let's go and try this. Okay, so here is the other pizza with, made with potatoes and cauliflower, cauliflower. And it surprised me because the crust rose as if I had put some um, uh, yeast so let's see. Mm, the same as the other one. I would have left it in the oven for a little longer because I like it more crunchy, but still. Mm. The sun-dried tomatoes are a great addition. Of course, you can use any other toppings that you like and, um, and cook the dough. I guess it depends on the thickness of it. I made it kind of thick, so you just have to check the dough as it cooks. I did um, set the oven to broil for two minutes, and so that made it made the top um, I guess it just made it um, more brown and there you have it two really different but delicious pizza crusts and of course like the other one you can put some um, vegan cheese and um, artichoke hearts and I mean you it's the the toppings are totally up to you and your imagination. You could also put hummus on the pizza crust. Um, I was going to do that actually, and then at the last minute decided not to, but I'm just going to try many, many different types. And as I make them, I will show them, show you how they, how they are. So I hope you have enjoyed this and um, that you will let me 
know how you like them. If you have any questions, please send me an email at plantemus at gmail.com and that is plant, P-L-A-N-T-E-M-U-S at gmail.com. Until next time, bye-bye.